How's it going guys? Maximilian here and back with some more Modern Warfare 3 gameplay and as you're probably noticing immediately this is going to look a lot different than most of my other videos because it's the first one with a shotgun. That's right, I uh, once I hit 10th prestige I was pretty anxious to start using other weapons uh, and not worry about leveling guns so first gun I went to was the KSG, um, most specifically because it has the best range of any shotgun, I believe, maybe maybe just as good as the 1887, and it's pretty powerful. The uh, The only problem with this gun is that, man, the, the pump action reload time is ridiculously, ridiculously long. Uh, in most situations, if you miss a shot, there's a good chance that you're dead. Uh, rolling around with the um, secondary of the, I think this is the MP9, uh, the MP9... Non akimboed, I think, is one of the best secondaries in the game. Uh, stick extended mags on this thing, and it's just as good as a submachine gun if you learn how to deal with a little bit of the recoil, and um, how effectively you can take out targets, dude. It's it's really good, and for having something like a shotgun where you know you're not going to be able to take care of uh, long to mid range targets targets in most situations, dude, it it tears things up. Um, Arkadin is one of the maps that I think fits a shotgun really well. Uh, not all maps suit shotguns in this game. This is not like Modern Warfare 2 where, you know, you have a Spaz 12 and you can go on a, an absolute tear on, on a map like D-Rail and expect to get, you know, 50 kills. Uh, it's just not going to happen in Modern Warfare 3. Um, and it kind of sucks because I, I like that about Modern Warfare 2. I like that any map is a shotgun map. Wasteland was a freaking shotgun map. And it was mostly because of the Spaz 12 and how uh, amazingly awesome that gun was. But if we're going to talk about weapons that are as similar to the, the Spas in Modern Warfare 3, the KSG is pretty good. Um, right now, I think I'm about to get my KSG to gold, and it's hovering somewhere on the mid-range of level 30. I've found that damage seems to be the best proficiency for this gun. I'm not going to talk too much about the KSG itself, because I'm going to start walking through what's going on in this game, because uh, I'd like to save a KSG weapon breakdown for later. But there are better shotguns. Um, the Striker of, of course, I think is still the best shotgun you can use. But the KSG is is not easy to use. It, it, is, a, it is a difficult weapon to get used to using. Um, and aiming properly and not missing is so important with a gun like this. If you miss, most times you're dead. In situations like this right here where a guy falls into a uh, final stand, oh my gosh. Yeah, in moments like this, that's complete luck. Uh, any other time, I would have been completely toast and stuff like that. You saw that guy just run by and I put a shotgun blast right into what looked like his chest and nothing happened. This is what happens in Modern Warfare 3. Like, I don't understand if the spread of shotguns isn't as good, if it's the amount of pellets that are just way less, uh, or what is contributing to this fact, but sometimes you'll, you'll blast into dudes and you won't even get hit markers. Uh, it's funny to see that in some situations, like even right here, that single first shot didn't didn't touch anything. But what's great is that you get those long distance shots. Um, I also like running kill streaks that favor the shotgun if you're running something like Assault. Uh, the Reaper in this situation just gets me the Pavlo, and I like running the Pavlo so you can still run around and be mobile with the shotgun. Uh, here's another one of those situations where having this badass secondary weapon comes in handy. Um, and when it comes to when it comes to the KSG, like I was saying, damage is, I think, way better than uh, than what's it called than range. R range was getting me a little bit more long range kills, but it was taking away my close range kills. Um, it's the most disappointing thing where you'll you'll shoot a guy with a pump action shotgun that takes forever to shoot, and you have to be accurate with it and you don't get the kill. Uh, there's some nice long-range stuff going on right here. Not quite as dirty as the Spaz 12 in Modern Warfare 2, but it, it gets the job done. Uh, accidentally pick up a, uh, a dude's javelin, which happens sometimes on respawn. And hammer away with the worst kill streak ever on this map. I, I, I didn't go into this map knowing that I was using <laughs> the Reaper. It's so bad on a map like Arkadin. You have to get really lucky if they're spawning in the A side or somehow maneuver these missiles into these buildings. But there are a few other maps that really do favor shotguns. Uh, Seatown is one of them. Arkadin is definitely a good one. Uh, I'd have to look at the list, uh, but when it comes to certain maps like, like Village, like Interchange, I just will not use a shotgun. It's too difficult and it's, it's, it doesn't work for a game of this type. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the breakdown. If you want to see more KSG or shotgun gameplay, please leave a comment below. But as always, thank you very much for watching the video. This has been Maximilian.
signing out.